Do you believe that no weapon formed against you is going to be able to prosper? Do you believe that your God is going to supply all of your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus? Do you believe that even if weeping endures for a night, joy will come in the morning? Do you believe that my God shall supply all my need? That's, that's the question. Do you believe? I closed the little message because Sister Martha had a great answer. Her answer went like this. Yes, Lord. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's, that's why I've been trying to go. I've mentioned this to you on multiple occasions, that when Jesus asks you a direct question, it's not time for you to be scratching your head and wondering and moping about and pacing the floor. I want to know if there are some ride-or-die soldiers listening to me on this first Sunday of March who still have a yes, Lord, in your mouth. I wonder if there's anybody listening to me on this first Sunday who can look at the worst circumstance possible and still say yes, Lord. Lord, I believe. Is there anybody who can testify? I don't know how God's going to do it. I don't know when God's going to do it. It seemed like he should have done it by now. I was a little frustrated there for a minute, but now that he's talked to me, to me a little while, he's gotten me down off the ledge and he's let me know that I'm still his child. I've focused my faith now, not on all that other stuff around me, but I'm focusing on the one who loves me and because he loves me I know he'll work miracles on my behalf and so yes Lord I believe and this is what I believe I believe that you are the Christ and you are the Son of God I believe you're the Messiah you're the one God sent to redeem me you're the one God sent to save me from my sin yes Lord I believe and not only you the Savior and the Redeemer but you're the Son of the Living God God. And because you're the son of the living God, I know there's nothing impossible with you. I need the saints on a Sunday who can testify right there wherever you are that there is still nothing too hard for the Lord because Jesus is still the son of the living God. And he's not just the son of God, but he's the Christ. He's the Messiah. He was the one sent to save me from my sin. You all ought to know by now that I can't come to the first Sunday experience without talking about the fact that Jesus came down through 40 and two generations and gave his life on a whole hill called Calvary on a rugged cross to save us from our sin. And if Sister Martha could figure it out, I need some of y'all who've been through some dangers, who've been through some rough patches, who've been through some storms, who've been through some tumultuous situations to begin to testify since I know he's the son of God and since I know he's my Messiah he's my Redeemer he's the one sent to save me from my sin I also know there is nothing too hard for him now you gotta catch this child of God she's saying this and Lazarus is still in the grave she's saying this and Jesus hadn't said come forth yet she's saying this and brother man is stinking by now and I need somebody to listen to me who can go ahead and testify even when the situation gets ugly and nasty and stinky I still believe he steps in right on time and can turn the situation around be not dismayed but air be tied God will take care of you beneath his wing of love abide God will take care of you but that's not the hymn I've been trying to get through I told you about blessed assurance you need to know the third stanza of sister Fanny Crosby's song perfect submission all is at rest I in my savior am happy and blessed I'm watching and waiting I'm looking above I'm filled with his goodness and lost in his love I got the clothes now that's not all the words 
Sister Fanny wrote, she wrote the refrain, and it blesses me every time I sing it. It blesses me every time I hear it. It was ugly in the story. It didn't look good in the story. You had some pitfalls in the story. You don't like your whole story. Some story parts you wished you didn't have to go through. Some of it was frustrating, but today you got to testify. This is my story. This is my song. I'm praising me. I said I'm praising. I'm praising my Savior all the day long. I feel like lifting him up. Come on, children. Because if I go too far, I'm going to get too happy. And I'm going to stay too long. But I feel like rejoicing on the first Sunday. Because every time I turn around, he keeps on making ways for me. Can I find somebody this day who can testify? There's some ugly parts to the story. There's some frustrating parts to the story. But it's still my story. And since I've seen what God can do, I'm not going to allow the frustration to rob me of my assurance that I'm praising my Savior all the day long. Let the men praise him. Let the women praise him. Let the children praise him. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. No matter what your story, you are assured that Jesus will take care of you. Won't he do it? I said, won't he do it? Won't he make a way for you? Won't he open doors for you? Won't he provide for you? Then let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Open up your mouth in your kitchen, in your bedroom, in your living room, in your media room. Let the day long. All the day long.